little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. <laughs> the Sand Pit. Peppa and her friends are playing in the sand pit. This sand pit is our desert island. <laughs> We will live here forever. <laughs> if we're going to live here forever, I want it to be nice. It just needs some houses. And roads. And shops. Dinosaur. <laughs> yes, George. <laughs> the desert island can have dinosaurs too. What are you doing? We're making a desert island. It's got houses and roads and shops. Has it got trees? No. It would be nicer if it had trees. Where are we going to get trees from? We have to drive big trucks around the world and look for trees. Dinosaurs, you look after the island while we go and look for some trees. Brum, brum, brum. Pepper, Susie, Danny and Emily are pretending to drive around the world looking for trees. Have you got any spare trees? Uh. We need trees for our desert island. Oh, I see. How many trees would you like? Enough to make a forest. There you go. Thank you. Vroom, vroom, vroom. The dinosaurs are having fun jumping up and down on the desert <laughs> island. The dinosaurs have broken everything. Naughty dinosaurs. Now we'll have to make it all again. What are you making? This is our desert island. With roads and houses. And shops. And trees. There. We will live here forever. Again. It would be really good if we had a lake. Yes, a lake. <coughs> One lake. But it needs water to be a proper lake. Oh. Where are we going to get water from? We must fly around the world in aeroplanes. Pepper and her friends are pretending to fly around the world looking for water. Pedro Pony is playing on the roundabout. Hello, everyone. Hello, Pedro. We've got a desert island with houses. And roads. Shops. Trees. And a lake. But we need water for the lake. Have you got some, please? I don't know what you're talking about. It's just pretend. We're playing a game. Oh, I see. You want pretend water. Yes. Hmm. I know where there's pretend snow. We can melt it to get pretend water. Where? On the mountain top. That's a slide. It's a pretend mountain. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What's the matter, Pedro? Because it is a hot day, the snow has melted. Can't we pretend it hasn't melted? No, it's melted good and proper. Oh. oh. But look, over there, real water. Daddy Pig is drinking from the water fountain. Water! <laughs> Daddy, can we have some water in our bucket, please? We're making a lake. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> We've got water. Nice water. It is Freddy Fox. Hello, everyone. What's this? It's a desert island. We are going to live here forever. If only it had a flag. I've got a flag in my van if you'd like it. Mr Fox has got everything in his van. Uh, we only need a pretend one, Mr Fox. OK. How about these? Thank you, Mr Fox. <laughs> <laughs> now our desert island is perfect. We will live here forever. Again! <laughs> <laughs> This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. London. Peppa.
Pepper and her playgroup are visiting London for the day. Children, this is London. Wow, it's so busy. There's so much to see, I just can't decide where to go first. My friend the Queen lives in London. Maybe she can help. This is the palace where the Queen lives. Hello? Please can I speak to the Queen? I am the Queen. Who are you? It's Miss Rabbit. You said if I was ever in London, I should drop in to see you. Oh, Miss Rabbit. Come in, come in. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Queen. Queen. We're visiting London for the day. We were hoping you could tell us the best places to see. I can do better than that. After all, London is my city. I'll give you a guided tour myself. Hooray! <laughs> the best way to see London is on a double-decker bus. Ooh. Mr Driver, please may we borrow your bus. Borrow my bus? You must be joking. No, I am your Queen. In that case, Your Majesty, take it. If the Queen asks you to do something, you must do it. Everyone up to the top deck. <laughs> the bus has stairs in it. The double-decker bus has seats at the top. I'm the Queen and I will be your tour guide today. Fast stop, Big Ben. <laughs> this tall clock tower is called Big Ben. Actually, Big Ben is the bell, not the tower. You know a lot for a little elephant. I'm a clever clogs. Oh. That was loud. That is the sound of Big Ben telling us the time. It rang three times, so it is three o'clock. If it rang six times, would that make it six o'clock? Yes, it would. And if it rang a hundred times, then it would be broken. On with the tour. Next stop, Tower Bridge. We need to cross the bridge to continue the tour. Stop! You can't cross! Look, there's a big ship. <laughs> to bang into the bridge. <gasps> the bridge is lifting up. Wow! Tower Bridge lifts to let tall ships sail through. Good. Now the ship has passed, we can be on our way. Please lower the bridge. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but there's another ship coming. This is really too much. We can't wait around all day. Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> The bus is balancing on the bridge. Now what do we do? Hang on a minute, lads. I've got a great idea. Everybody move to the front of the bus. OK. <laughs> Hooray! The Queen is good at driving buses. Are you enjoying your tour, children? Yes! yes. Buses are the best. Why aren't all buses open like this one? It is raining. Ah, oh, yes. That's why all buses aren't open like this one. Children, open your umbrellas. It is very important to take an umbrella when you visit London. Let's stop Trafalgar Square. Oh dear, what a shame. Trafalgar Square is full of puddles. But we love Puddles. <laughs> Come on, have a splash, Your Majesty. It does look rather fun, and one is wearing one's boots. Whee! <laughs> the Queen loves jumping in London puddles. Everybody loves jumping in London puddles. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. The rainy day game. It is raining. Peppa and George have to stay inside. I don't like rainy days. I like rainy days because they make muddy puddles to jump in. Can we jump in muddy puddles? 
puddles now. Pepper, we need to wait until it stopped raining. When will it stop? Let's listen to the weather forecast. This is the weather forecast. It will rain all day. Oh. I know. We can play the rainy day game. What's the rainy day game? I'll show you. If I take this rubber duck and hide it where you can see it, do you think you could find it? Daddy, if we can see it, you haven't hidden it. Watch this. I will put the duck here. Now, you tell me where it is. There. Exactly. It's too easy, Daddy. It won't always be so easy, Peppa. Who wants to go first? Because it's an easy game, George can go first. OK, you all wait here. Daddy Pig is putting the rubber duck somewhere for George to find. The duck is somewhere in your bedroom. George is looking for the rubber duck. <laughs> but it is quite difficult to find. Oh. George, you can see it. Just look with your eyes. George is using his eyes to look for the rubber duck. You're getting warmer. Colder. Warm again. George has found the rubber duck. Hooray! I saw it straight away. This game is too easy. OK, Peppa's turn. I will do the hiding this time. Mummy Pig is going to put the rubber duck somewhere for Peppa to find. I will see it straight away. Ready! The rubber duck is somewhere in the kitchen. I've come to find you, rubber ducky. I know where you are. You're in the sink. Oh. The rubber duck is not in the sink. I know. You're hiding under the table. The rubber duck is not under the table. Give me a clue, please. It's sitting with something else that's yellow. Something yellow that lives in the kitchen. Bananas! There you are! Peppa has found the rubber duck. It was in the fruit bowl. Hooray! Well done! <laughs> I want to play the rainy day game again. OK. This time you can both look for the duck. Daddy Pig is putting the rubber duck somewhere for Peppa and George to find. Ready! I'm in the sitting room. <laughs> <laughs> is it on the sofa? No. Is it on the television? No. It's not anywhere. Would you like a clue? It's sitting on something very big and very wise. And very handsome. Daddy! It's on your head. That's the best hiding place ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the rain has stopped. Why don't we play outside? But I want to play the rainy day game again. I think you might like this outside rainy day game even better. What is this game? Give me a clue. We need to find a muddy puddle. I found it. Is that the game? This game is not just about the finding, Pepper. What do you do with a muddy puddle? Hmm. Jump up and down. <laughs> Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> I like rainy day games, especially the one when you jump up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> Brother George, this is Mummy Pig, and this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Night animals. Peppa and George are having a sleepover at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Grandpa, where are you going? It's bedtime. Don't worry, Peppa. I'm just going into the garden to collect slugs and snails. Why? Grandpa doesn't like slugs and snails because they eat his vegetables. 
And the best time to find them is at night with this torch. Can George and me come too? Please? <laughs> OK. Just this once. Put your coats and boots on. <laughs> Pepper and George are wearing their coats and boots over their pyjamas. You carry the bucket, Peppa, and I'll hold the torch. Don't stay out too late, Grandpa Pig. OK, okay Granny, Granny Pig. Pig. <laughs> we'll put all the slugs and snails in the bucket. Ah, one little snail. Two little snails. <laughs> and a slug. Ugh. Slugs are yucky. <laughs> Here are Grandpa Pig's chickens. Sarah, Jemima, Vanessa and Neville. Hello, chickens. I need to put the chickens to bed. Night-night, chickens. Night-night, chickens. Night-night. Why aren't the slugs and snails in bed, Grandpa? Because they're up all night eating my vegetables. Some animals eat in the daytime, like my chickens, and some animals eat at night, like, oh, Mr Fox. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Putting your chickens to bed, are you? Oh, yes. Nice and cosy in the hen house. Jolly good. Well, I'll be on my way. Good night. Good, good night. night. Now, as I was saying... Some animals eat at night, like... <laughs> oh, hello. Grandpa, there's a little animal in your bucket. Ha-ha, <laughs> yes. It's a hedgehog. They like to eat slugs and snails. Hello, hedgehog. <laughs> oh, he's rolled into a ball. Yes, Peppa. He is very shy. Come out, Mr Hedgehog. Don't be scared. I like hedgehogs. They are very good at keeping slugs and snails off my lovely lettuce. Bye-bye, <laughs> hedgehog. Bye-bye. Are there any more night animals, Grandpa? Yes, there are moths. Ooh, they look like butterflies. Butterflies that come out at night. They like the torchlight. When it goes off, they leave. When the light goes on, they come back. <laughs> Can I try? OK. Bye-bye, moths. Hello, moths. Bye-bye, moths. <laughs> and if we leave the torch off, we can see another very tiny night animal. Where? Look up at the sky. Is it a shooting star? No, that is a firefly. Is it on fire? Oh, oh no, Peppa. It has a tummy that glows. Wow! Are there any big night animals in your garden, Grandpa? No. Oh, what's that? It's a big night animal. Oh, oh it's Granny Pig. <laughs> there you are. Granny, Granny. We've been saying hello to all the night animals. <laughs> Lovely. But now it's time to say good night to them. Good night, night animals. <sighs> and it's well past bedtime for you little piggies. Yes, Granny Pig. Good, good night, night, little, little ones. ones. Good night, Granny. Good night, Grandpa. Night, night. <laughs> This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Simple science. It is playtime at Peppa's playgroup. <laughs> Stop! Mr. Bull, what are you doing to our playground? We're digging it up! <laughs> Mr. Bull loves digging. Hello! Daddy, why are you here? I'm working with Mr Bull. Ooh! It looks like Mr Bull is doing all the work. Mr Bull just builds the playground. Mm -hmm. I do the hard bit, planning it all. Ah! I've worked it all out with science. 
That sounds very interesting, Daddy Pig. It is. Would you like to teach the children some simple science? It would be my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start by doing an experiment. <laughs> what is an experiment? It's a way to find something out that we don't know. Like, how many children does it take to lift Madam Gazelle? One. A hundred. Ten hundred. <laughs> You're all just guessing. What's the answer? I don't know, but we can use an experiment to find out. Who wants to try and lift Madam Gazelle? Me! Me! Oh, I can't lift her. Madam Gazelle is too heavy for one child to lift. Let's try two children. <laughs> She's very heavy. Madam Gazelle is too heavy for two children to lift. Let's try three children. <laughs> it takes three children to lift Madam Gazelle. We just did some simple science. It was fun. <laughs> Let's do another experiment. Yes! <laughs> Make a tower of blocks. <laughs> Very good, but the tower looks a bit wobbly. Oh. How can we make the tower less wobbly? Um, put the big blocks at the bottom and the small blocks at the top. Fantastic! Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. Can we do more experiments? Of course. Who can tell me their favourite game? Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. And what do we need to make a muddy puddle? Dirt and water. Dirt and water. Mix them together to make a muddy puddle. Peppa, please test the puddle. This puddle is too dry. Let's add some more water. Please jump again, Peppa. This puddle is just right. Nice and muddy. <laughs> and making muddy puddles is a bit like making concrete. Concrete is what we're using to make your new playground. It starts off wet and soft like mud, then it sets and goes hard forever. Right now, it is gloopy like custard. Let me show you. You see, it's very soft. But who can tell me what's going to happen next? The concrete will go hard. Exactly. It will set as hard as rock. Uh, Daddy Pig, I think you should step out of there before... I'll be with you in a moment, Mr Bull. I'm just talking to the children. Yes, but... Uh... You see, the concrete is soft. Still soft. And now... Hard. Wow! All thanks to a bit of simple science. Now, Mr. Bull, uh, what was it you were saying? I was trying to say you should get out before the concrete goes hard. Ah. Daddy Pig is stuck. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I'll have you out in a jiffy. How? I'll dig up a playground. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves being dug out of concrete. Everyone loves being dug out of concrete. <laughs> Brother George, this is Mummy Pig, and this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. <laughs> Mummy Rabbit Bump. Peppa and George are playing with Susie Sheep and Pedro Pony. <laughs> Here are Rebecca and Richard Rabbit. Hello, Rebecca. I've got a secret. What is it? My mummy's got a bump in her tummy. Ooh! Has she eaten too much? No! There's a baby rabbit inside. Mummy rabbit? Is there really a baby rabbit in your tummy? Yes. Would you like to listen to it? Yes, please. Can you hear a little heartbeat? Yes, I can. It's going boom, boom, boom. Oh, it just moved. Yes, 
sometimes babies give a little kick. Nay. What will you call it? I don't know. Would you children like to think of a name? Yes, please. Hello, Mummy Rabbit. <coughs> Would you like a cup of coffee? I can't have coffee, but I am quite hungry. Would you like a carrot? I'm a bit off carrots. Have you got any potatoes? Yes, we do. Maybe a potato with jelly and cheese and strawberry jam, please. Yeah. <laughs> a potato with jelly, cheese and strawberry jam? What a funny mixture of food. We need to think of a name for the baby. Yes, if the baby is a girl, she'll be called Rachel Rabbit. Or how about... Ruth Rabbit. Roxanne Rabbit. Sharon Rabbit. I don't think so, Pedro. Sharon Rabbit sounds wrong. I like Rosie. Rosie Rabbit. <laughs> it's perfect. But what if the baby is a boy? Oh. How about... Rufus Rabbit. Raymond Rabbit. Michael Rabbit. Michael Rabbit. No! Robbie Rabbit. Yes, Robbie Rabbit. Thank you for the potatoes with jelly, cheese and strawberry jam, Mummy Pig. My pleasure. We thought of a name for the baby. Rosie if it's a girl and Robbie if it's a boy. They're lovely names. It's sad that the baby can't have both names. Oh, my tummy! It's all that funny food you've been eating. I don't think so, Daddy Rabbit. The baby is coming. Right, to the hospital. Quickly now, don't panic. Bye. 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 Good luck. Did you pack everything on the list? I've got it all. Pillows, scented candles, yoga music, and enough food for three days. <laughs> don't panic, don't panic. Anyone in? We are having a rabbit! Hello, sister. What are you doing here? I'm having a baby, remember? Oh, yes. You better come inside then. Can I come too? Moo! You'll have to park the car first. Don't worry. Having a baby always takes a long time. Out of the way, everyone! My sister's having a baby! A kettle and plenty of towels. This lot should last us a good few days. Oh, where shall I put all this stuff? Back in the car. We don't need it now. What? Daddy, you missed all the excitement. Have I? Is it a boy or a girl? Both. Yay! We've got baby twins. Wow. It is the next day and Mummy Rabbit is home from hospital. Hello. Can we see the twins, please? Of course, Peppa. <laughs> Are they boys or girls? They're both. A boy and a girl. They're called Rosie and Robbie. So you did use both names. Yes. <laughs> Rosie Rabbit and Robbie Rabbit. They're the best names in the world. And we thought of them. <laughs> <laughs> My little brother George, this is Mummy Pig, and this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Flying on holiday. Peppa and George are going on holiday. They are packing their bags. You can't pack everything. But we need to take all our toys, Daddy. <laughs> Just take the important ones. OK. I'll take Teddy, and George can take... Dinosaur. <laughs> Mummy Pig is packing a big bag for the holiday. Wow! That's a lot of stuff, Mummy Pig. Are you sure we need it all? Yes, it's all very important. OK. <laughs> it is Susie Sheep. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to play? I can't play today, Susie. I'm going on holiday. Oh, where are you going? I don't know. 
Somewhere where there's holidays. <laughs> that sounds nice. <laughs> oh, Granny and Grandpa, why are you here? We're here for Goldie the fish. We're looking after her while you're on holiday. Here's Goldie. Don't feed her too much, Granny. OK, Peppa. <laughs> It is Mr Bull in his taxi. He is taking Pepper and her family to the airport. Hello, Daddy Pig. Let me take that bag for you. Whoa! Ah, that's heavy. Are you sure you need everything in here? Yes, it's all very important. Bye! 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 This is the airport. Goodbye. <gasps> Have a lovely holiday. Tickets, please. Here they are. Any bags? Yes. I'm afraid this one's a bit heavy. Don't worry. Just pop it on the scales. <sighs> Anything valuable in it? No. Any more? Yes. You can take those little bags on the plane with you. Just join the queue over there. This is the X-ray machine. What's this, Daddy? It's a machine that looks inside things. Ooh. Put your bags on here, please. Look, it's my bag with Teddy inside. Dinosaur. <laughs> That's magic! This is the aeroplane that will take Pepper and her family on holiday. Airplane! Meow! George loves aeroplanes. Welcome aboard. We hope you enjoy your flight with us today. Can I sit next to the window? <laughs> of course, Pepper. <laughs> Yes, George, you can sit next to a window too. <laughs> this is Captain Emergency speaking. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Captain, Captain Emergency. Emergency! Then let's go! <laughs> Look, Teddy, they're flying. What can you see out of the window, Pepper? It's all cloudy and rainy. That's because we're on top of the clouds. The plane is flying higher and higher. Oh, are we flying up to the sun? No, but we are going somewhere sunny. Flying high in a plane, up above the clouds and rain. Flying high, sunny sky, flying high and high and high. <laughs> Pepper and her family are flying through the sky on their way to a sunny holiday. <laughs> I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. <laughs> Easter Bunny. Pepper and her friends have come to Rebecca Rabbit's house for an Easter egg hunt. Are you looking forward to the egg hunt? Yes! Ready, steady, go! Wait! <laughs> stop! Stop! What? You can't start. The Easter Bunny hasn't been to hide the eggs yet. Oh! When is the Easter Bunny getting here? Very soon. Good! We'll wait. Uh, but the Easter Bunny is very shy and won't come if you're looking. OK, we'll close our eyes. <laughs> no peeking! I can hear something. It's the Easter Bunny. No, it's not. It's just my daddy. Here is Mr Rabbit. Hello, everyone. What are you all doing here? We've come for the Easter egg hunt. Oh. I hope the Easter Bunny will come soon, Mr Rabbit. Oh, yes, me too. I uh, must just go and check my carrot patch. This is Mr Rabbit's carrot patch. Remember, children, the Easter Bunny is very shy and won't come if we're looking. 
Let's wait indoors. <laughs> Rebecca Rabbit's house is underground. <laughs> Rebecca, have you ever seen the Easter Bunny? No. But the Easter Bunny is a rabbit. Yes. And you are a rabbit. Yes. What does it look like? I think it looks like me, but a bit bigger. <laughs> I think the Easter Bunny has a rocket pack. <laughs> yes, it's a super bunny. I think the Easter Bunny has a magic fairy wand. I think the Easter Bunny must be very big to carry all those eggs everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Easter Bunny is invisible. What? what? Invisible means you can't see it. <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> Oh, somebody's hiding an egg. It must be the Easter Bunny. I wish we could see the real Easter Bunny. Maybe we can see it through the window. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't see anything. We're never going to see the Easter Bunny. Ahem. <gasps> Remember, no peeking. Sorry, Mummy. Hello, everyone. Oh, hello, Mr Rabbit. How are your carrots? What carrots? The carrots you went out to check. Oh, they're fine. Daddy, did you see the Easter Bunny? Uh, no, but I'm sure the Easter Bunny will have been by now. Do you think the children can start looking for the eggs yet? Oh, yes, I would say so. <laughs> right, are you ready to find the eggs the Easter Bunny has hidden? Yes! Ready? When you have found all the eggs, we share them out equally. Steady? There should be one egg Go! for every child. Don't worry if it takes you a long time to find them. Danny Dog has found an egg under a plant pot. <laughs> Susie Sheep has found one in a bush. Pepper has found an egg in a tree. George has found one in a bucket. Finished! Wow, that was quick. And with one egg each. Great. Wait! What's that over there? Easter Bunny! Shh! Let's creep up quietly! Yes! <laughs> now we'll see what the Easter Bunny looks like. <laughs> that is not the Easter Bunny. That is Rebecca Rabbit. Oh! We thought you were the Easter Bunny. No, I'm me. And I found an egg. <laughs> We've all found eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bunny and I like to play. I hop, skip and jump and I play all day. I've a fluffy tail and bouncy legs. I like eating carrots and chocolate eggs. <laughs> <laughs> we are little bunnies and we love... I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> It is a lovely sunny day. Pedro has a new play tent. Here are Pepper, George, Danny Dog, Susie Sheep and Wendy Wolf. Hello, Hello Pedro. Pedro! Howdy everyone! Welcome to my cowboy camp. Yeehaw! It's a tent. It's a cowboy camp where cowboys sleep at night time. Are you going to sleep here in the night? <laughs> Um, no. That might be a bit scary, but we can pretend it's night time. But it's not night time. Just pretend the sun is the moon. OK. okay. Pedro, can we be cowboys too? Yes, you could be my partners. <laughs> <laughs> is my little cowboy hungry? I sure am, Ma. That's how cowboys speak. Would you cowboys and cowgirls like something to eat too? Yes, please, Ma. Do the cowboys always camp next to their mummy's kitchen? No, you have to pretend the house is not here. This is the Wild West. What's that? 
The Wild West is the land where cowboys live. What do cowboys do? They tell stories, sing songs and eat beans. Beans on toast for everyone. Hooray! Cowboys love beans on toast. Everybody loves beans on toast. Who wants a cowboy song? Do you know a real cowboy song? Yes, I made it up. And it goes like this. I'm a brave cowboy and I'm eating my beans with a bing and a bong and a boo. Baked beans bang, baked beans boo, baked beans bingly bongly bang. I could tell a story. Make it scary. <laughs> it was a wet and windy night in the Wild West. Ooh. And wild animals were out looking for food. Looking for food at night? Some animals eat at night, Susie. Wild animals. Brrr. And the brave cowboy Pedro was alone in his tent. But he couldn't sleep because something was outside the tent. <coughs> was it a wild animal? What's that? It's a wild animal! <coughs> ah! Oh! It is a tiny little bird. Come to look at Pedro's tent. I think it was an eagle. Eagles live in the Wild West. Is everybody all right? Yes, Mummy. It's nearly home time. But we haven't done the pretend sleeping yet. Everybody back in the tent. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, partners. Good, Good night, Cowboy Pedro. I'm glad there aren't any wild animals out there. Oh! Wild animals! Ah! It's a wolf! Yes, it's my daddy. Oh! Mr Wolf has come to take Wendy Wolf home. All the parents are here to pick up the children. Bye-bye, Cowboy Pedro! Bye-bye, everyone! Are you coming in, Pedro? I want to pretend sleeping a bit more. OK. <coughs> Mummy, can I come in now? Yes, my brave little cowboy. Even brave little cowboys like to sleep indoors sometimes. Night, Pedro. Good night, Ma. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother, George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. The Holiday House. Peppa and her family are flying to another country for a holiday. We hope you have enjoyed your flight. Please fasten your seatbelts. This is Captain Emergency speaking. We are about to land in Italy. Oh, Italy. That sounds nice. The aeroplane has landed. Hooray! <laughs> oh, dear. Pepper has left Teddy on the aeroplane. Now we need a car to drive to our holiday house. Here is the place to borrow cars. Hello. Buongiorno. Come posso aiutare una così bella signora? In Italy, people speak Italian. Oh, um, we need a car. Non capisco. Let me handle this. I'm an expert at talking. <clears throat> we need a car. Uovo. Not eggs. A car. Um, no. Not flowers. No. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> ah, auto. Hey, hey. Brum, brum, beep, beep. Well done, George. <laughs> This bag is heavy. Oh. Are you sure we need everything in here, Mummy Pig? Yes. It's all very important. Are we going to get lost?
fast like we always do. <laughs> no, Peppa. The sat-nav will tell us the way. Benvenuto all'auto del futuro. In Italy, the sat-nav talks in Italian. Proseguire sulla... Maybe we don't need the sat-nav. Uh, let's go this way. Remember, Daddy Pig, this is another country. They may drive differently here. Oh, oh, driving is driving, Mummy Pig. It can't be that different. Strada, porco! Driving in Italy is very different to driving at home. Hello! Yes, we're on holiday. Daddy, why are they beeping their horns at us? I expect they're saying hello. Can we say hello back? Of course we can. Hello! Everyone is so friendly here. <laughs> Pepper and her family are on their way to their holiday house. Ah, we're almost there. Yes, I can feel myself relaxing already. Teddy! I left Teddy on the aeroplane! Eh? What? We have to go back for Teddy. Uh... Oh, dear. It is a policeman. Hello, officer. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but I promise I won't do it again. Good day. I am returning this young bear. He was left on the aeroplane. Oh, thank you. Teddy! Have a lovely holiday. Here we are. Pepper and her family have arrived at their holiday house. <laughs> what have you done? got in this bag, Mummy Pig? It's all important stuff for our holiday. A lovely plant, our computer, tinned food, hot water bottles, some winter clothes in case it gets a bit chilly, the telephone. Let's ring Granny and Grandpa. <sniffs> Granny and Grandpa Pig are looking after Goldie the fish while Pepper is on holiday. Are you sure we're feeding Goldie enough? I'll just feed her a pinch more. Hello? Hello, Granny. Can I speak to Goldie, please? It's Pepper for you. I miss you too, Goldie. <laughs> <sighs> it has been a long day. Now it is time for bed. Good night, my little piggies. <sighs> Pepper and George are fast asleep in their holiday house. <laughs> 